and with him are his collaborators known as the Presbyterium. And the consecrated men and women engage themselves in that diocese to help build the particular church. Tobias is very strong. Mga madre kayo sa diocese ko, anong ginagawa ninyo? Anong tulong ninyo sa diocese na ito? Why? Because religious life was established by the church in order to build the church, not as a multinational or separated kingdom. Precisely because there are some congregations who do not have any connection with the parish and the diocese. That is sense of church. So, ang ginagawa ko, pagkatapos ng LSS, yung growth series, my church modules. Ako rin nagbibigay ng prex. So, 10 modules yon. Pero sa 10 modules na yon, ako lagi nakikita bawat module. <laughs> Why? Alam mo, iba rin eh. Fathers, sisters, ha? Pag ang pare mismo ang nagtuturo, aamo ang tao sa pare. Pero pag ibinibigay ng pare sa ibang tao, hindi umaamo sa parish priest. Iba kapag mismo ang kura ang nagtuturo. Yun ang sinasabi kong feeding the lambs. Di ba? Ito naman. Pag pinakakain mo ang mga tao, syempre aamo yan sa iyo. Pero kapag if you pass the buck on another person, kanino aamo sa iyo? Aamo doon sa nagturo. That's psychological, ha? So you discover from Friday evening up to Sunday afternoon, if all the ten modules are given by the parish priest, you discover one thing. They become what? Connected to you and connected to the parish. Which means the priest in the parish is a formator. And if he does that, the rest of the community can be galvanized in a state of mission. Now, Let's look at vision. <coughs> Let's look at vision now. <coughs> Any questions uh, so far? <coughs> if you look at the uh, mission, Take note, in the community of disciples of Jesus and Church of the Poor, you have what we call agents of renewal. And who are the agents of renewal? Number one, first agent, the priest, the ordained ministers. Uh, PCP2 calls the ordained ministers as servant leaders. You know, you Google that phrase, servant leaders, is a very powerful phrase. And But for, for our purposes, PCP2 says that leadership is by means of service. That all power in the church is for service. Very strong si Klaverdian. In moral life, sabi niya, when he spoke to us, in moral life, the principle is this. Power is for service. That when a person receives power, he is willing to be disempowered because service is disempowerment. Simply, it is letting go of powers. It is washing the feet of the brothers and the sisters. So that ordained ministry is not above the laity. This is John Paul. Ordained ministry does not run parallel with the laity. Ordained ministry is for the laity. It exists to serve the lay. 
which means that in looking at us, ordained ministers, they see the ideal in our life. If we have to put it this way, we are we receive holy orders so that in seeing us living orderly lives, they put order in the church. That's the theology. Why? Kaayusan sa simbahan means simply a church in a state of peaceful living. Why? Because peaceful living is love, life enhancing. So servant leaders, how then does an ordained minister live his identity? By means of building the community. That is the first work of the ordained minister. Building the community. To build the community. To be shepherd of the community. Now, extrapolation na to, wala to sa PCP to, ha? In shepherding, brothers and sisters, you use three instruments. What are the three instruments? Found in Psalm 23. The Lord. First instrument, the staff. Second instrument, the rod. Third instrument, the oil of gladness. Tandaan nyo yun. The staff, the rod, the oil. That's shepherding. Good na homily yung Sunday. The staff, ano yung sabihin nun? The heart of the shepherd is not for the people who are good, but the least, the lost, and the last. Am I right? Kaya ang kakaganon, kaya yung bakulo ng obispo, nakaharap sa kanya, habang, ano, simbolo yun ng kanyang governance. Pag hindi na siya obispo,